It's no secret that Hyde Park is one of Chicago's cultural hotbeds, and so it's only right that we visit an art gallery, show you some really cool exhibits coming up, and we've got an art auction on Thursday that Patricia Keenan can tell us all about. She's the founder Absolutely. and CEO of Pigment International. Uh, what is Pigment International? It's a collective of artists that we brought together earlier this year. What we believe is that for the art to work, there are three elements that are needed. You need the artist who creates the work, the curator who shows the work, and the collector who buys the work. So we brought those groups together to create Pigment International. All right, well, let's get a chance to meet some of the artists who create the work, man. This is exciting. So Connect Gallery is nestled right here in Harper's Court in Hyde Park. They've got a beautiful exhibit up called Chicago Top Five, and we're walking up to a James Nelson piece, one of my favorite artists, and just a cool brother, by the way. What are we looking at right now, Patricia? Oh, gosh. Well, James Nelson is one of the artists that will fe be featured in our event this Thursday. It's called Art on the Avenue, and we'll be at the Symphony Center, the club room on the ninth floor. James has been with us since the beginning. Beginning. This is a piece of his called a sim, and James believes in realism that's exaggerated and, and larger than life. So we're talking about portraying people of color as, as these outstanding figures, kind of mythical and large. He does a lot of acrylic on canvas work, and I think this is a beautiful example of his. And we'll have his work this Thursday at our event. This is beautiful. Now, how much would something like this go for? Oh, my goodness. Now, we don't have this large piece. He'll have some small smaller pieces. So the nice thing about our event is you could buy anything from $100 up to several thousand dollars. So we'll have a lot of things at a lot of different price points that people can purchase. And it's all for a great cause, going to bolster the city's art community. Now, this is another piece by James Nelson. Yes. What are we looking at here? Oh, same kind of thing. We're looking at acrylics on canvas, and I believe it's called, here, let's take a look yeah. over here. I have to remember the name. So this Zaki. one is called Zaki. Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Absolutely. I'm with artist curator Martha Wade, who's taking part in this week's Art on the Avenue. Is that the name of the event? And that's with Pigment International. Tell us more about the event, where people can get tickets, the prices, all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, the event is this Thursday, the 16th. You can get tickets on Eventbrite. Uh, we're at the Chicago Symphony Orchestra in the club, uh, 220 South Michigan Avenue from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets are $30 online on Eventbrite, $40 at the door. So you're supporting Pigment International for our artists to get to Miami during Basel and us to just continue to grow the artists' names and do good things in the art market. So your donation goes towards that. That's amazing. And what are we standing next to here? What do we have? This is some of Martha's work. Swing over here with me. What is this called, this whole series? Are these all together? What are we looking at? Mm -hmm. So this is called Spirit Guides, and it's a quadratic, which is a four-piece painting that becomes one piece, but each painting also stands alone. So the first one is actually my daughter, and I call it Strength. Her spirit animal will be a wolf. Uh, she's so strong, she's very determined, she's fast, and so for her looking up into the sky, thinking about her dreams, um, and that's embodied in each of the pieces where someone's looking up, uh, they're at peace, the animal represents conquering your fear and taking really, control of your life. I love it. Really quickly, talk about the importance of investing in art. This whole panel would be $25,000 in a sense or two. Why should someone invest in art? Art is one of the few investments that usually appreciates over time. So when you buy a piece of artwork from an artist and you say you pay $1,000, in 10 years, that piece could be worth $5,000. So if you're trying to ball out, you definitely need to invest in some art. I'm talking to artist Dana Todd Pope, and she's part of the Art on the Avenue event coming up this week. And first of all, thank you for getting up early and having a chance to talk to me about this. Yeah. What's going on on Thursday? Uh, so we're having our um, kind of uh, Chicago debut here um, at the Chicago Symphony Orchestra in the clubhouse on the ninth floor. Tickets are 30 and $40, and we're looking for people to come out and support us. That's amazing. And big thanks to the, the sponsors, the Frame Shop, a lot of amazing organizations sponsoring this event with Pigment International. Now, one of the reasons I love Dana Todd Pope, one of my favorite artists ever, is because of these positive portrayals of African-American youth. And I talked about this in the first segment. Why did you feel like this was important to do? Why is this your inspiration for your work? Well, when I first started selling my work, I had a mentor tell me to think about my voice as an artist. So I was really pondering, and I went home and I turned on the news, and I saw three stories back to back to back about youth 12 to 14 on the south side of Chicago doing negative things, mugshots and everything. Mm. And I thought to myself in that moment, you're an artist, 
paint the images that you see of Chicago youth from the South Side. And so that was 10 years ago, and I've been, it's been a very successful series. Well, this is one of the hottest spots here in the city. Thank you, brother, for opening early for us. Now, tell us how this gallery was started and what inspired you to even bring this to High Park. Uh, Gall um, Connect Gallery started out of a three-day pop-up art fair that my business partner and I, we put together in High Park. Then we did it again in South Shore. And with, from that success, we became a gallery, you know? I love it. And this has become sort of a social space, a social gathering, a place where people can just go pull out the laptops, explore art and all of that. What do you guys got coming up soon? The next show, actually. Cleveland Dean, great artist. He's just coming off a show at the uh, Chicago Cultural Center, and his show goes up on the 17th. So as soon as you guys leave, I'm taking all this down, and we're getting ready for Cleveland. So you guys come hang out with me at Hive Park, man.